All right, for this only video only, I'm going to be uh, talking about Fifth Angel's debut album, which was released in 1986 uh, through Shrapnel Records. Yes, we're back to another uh, Shrapnel Records band. But this band would actually would uh, later get picked up by Epic Records. Uh, of course, would reissue this album with a different artwork. Because on the Shrapnel one, it had artwork by the guy who did artwork for like in the Chastain albums and, uh, you know, and so forth. Here, they get the artist to uh, some other artist. I don't know who it is. It just has uh, kind of a lady uh, on the front. It's very white background. It doesn't look as cool as, I don't know, it doesn't look as grabbing as the Shrapnel artwork. Uh, which isn't the artwork that was, uh, you know, uh, you know... In introduced to us to introduced to the artwork that epic records had used but here on the shrapnel one it's got like a, a horse with uh wings on it uh flying the back and it's definitely got that uh look to it that the guy who did you know chastain's rule of the wasteland uh and of course even uh you know vicious rumors uh soldiers of the night so with that um the album starts off with the fallout, uh, uh, into the fallout, uh, yeah. Uh, this is just a killer track. Really, really killer track. Uh, of course you got, um, you know, uh, Ted on the thing, who's just, uh, I just fucking forgot his name, uh, but still, uh, man. This whole album is definitely good. I remember uh, checking this one out back in 2009, and it was uh, or late 2008. Uh, this is this is definitely got just a really killer album from a shouted out. Uh, you know, only the strong of shit the night, which is definitely one of the more uh, faster tracks on the album. Uh, definitely really good. Uh, the song Fifth Angel, Wings of Destiny. Uh, fuck. Uh, yeah, uh, fade, fade the flames. Uh, uh, call out the warning. Uh, shit. This is just a really, really good album. If anything, uh, uh, this is uh, definitely one of the better bands to be on Shrapnel, uh, and this is definitely one of the albums that really does not have a uh, instrumental that uh, seems to you know uh, to kind of, you know, uh, recreate Van Halen's eruption, or Eddie Van Halen, uh, his guitar work. If anything, it's on the line with, like, Chastain, or um, the likes of that. It's definitely a bit more, uh, it, it's guitar-oriented, but it's also very song-based. Uh, even at times, even, uh, it's not nearly as fast and aggressive as Wild Dog's Reign of Terror, but it just seems to be in the line of just really uh, more song-based and more you know, feel, and not just trying to, you know, outshine others. If anything, it does outshine the ones that does out try to outshine the others. It's definitely a really good album. Nonetheless, I really do dig this. Each song, there's like, you know, Wings of Destiny is definitely one of the more softer tracks, but it's also one of the more powerful tracks on here, Alongside Fade the Flames, where Fade the Flames starts off soft and uh, stuff before going into a really good, uh, you know, rock and track. This is just, no, what, that's definitely one of the great things with the night, the way it just starts up with the winds, with, uh, you know, that uh, before kicking into uh, a real good speed metal tune. And, uh, of course, uh, only the strong... Uh, survive uh, definitely kind of uh, reminds me a bit of Ozzy at times kind of uh, something uh, that would be on like uh, no rest for the wicked or uh, you know that but it, it, it's just a really uh, to me a really good song definitely a great album nonetheless uh, after this I did check out a little bit and it seemed like they mm, kind of changed up the sound I don't know uh, but to me, I just didn't feel like uh, also, you know, throwing that in because of how how many albums I still got for this week. So, yeah, I don't, I wouldn't have any time to re review it. So, with that, if you have heard the Fifth Angel debut album, what are your thoughts? If you have any thoughts, you can post your comments down below. This is Heavy Thrashers, and I'm out. 
It's time to get, get to the next band. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. 